Nowadays, there is plenty of unusual swimming facilities that fundamentally change our idea of what water transport is all about. However, alternative fuel vessels using, for example, liquid hydrogen are of special interest. One of these technological wonders is the energy observer, the vessel that can fundamentally change people's perception of clean energy. Meet the Energy Observer, the first and so far the only fully autonomous ship in the world operating on hydrogen energy. Initially, the vessel was a racing catamaran, but later it was modified to demonstrate the capabilities of green technologies in order to prove that the installation of such systems is possible on any floating vehicle. The ship is self-sufficient in energy by producing hydrogen from seawater by means of electrolysis. Electrolysis is a process of splitting the water molecules into its constituent parts, hydrogen and oxygen, using electric current. Thus, obtained liquid hydrogen is stored on the ship in tanks made of aluminum and carbon fiber. As you can see, this method of producing fuel is absolutely harmless to the environment. In addition to the hydrogen generator, a 98-foot-long ship has got two wind generators, 1,399 square feet of solar panels, sails, as well as a regenerative drive. Thus, the ship receives energy from several alternative sources at any time of the day or night anywhere in the world. In order to set an example of a respectful attitude of mankind towards environment, in July 2017, the ship departed for a world trip. The crew, managed by ocean racer Victorian Erusar, as well as researcher and documentary director Jerome Delafosse, will visit 50 countries and make 11 stops to get to know those who are working on alternative solutions for cleaner energy production with minimal impact on our planet. Why did engineers choose hydrogen? There are several reasons. One of the most obvious ones is because it's literally everywhere. Hydrogen is the most common element in the universe. The main difficulty lies in the fact that pure hydrogen is extremely rare to find, and often it is part of various chemical compounds. One of these compounds occupies 71% of the surface of our planet. It is water. Another reason is because apart from water, hydrogen fuel can be made from many sources, including wind energy, natural gas, sun, and even trash. However, its extraction is still an expensive and inefficient process. Nevertheless, the idea of switching vehicles to hydrogen fuel attracts large companies and investments. The use of hydrogen leaves no carbon residues. For example, every 62 miles, Toyota Mirai powered by hydrogen fuel batteries produces about half a bucket of water caused by vapor emissions. No more greenhouse gases. No more toxic emissions. Besides, compared to traditional fuel, each kilogram of hydrogen is equal to approximately 0.8 liters of gas. The fleet of hydrogen cars is growing every year. The cost of developing and launching the production of a hydrogen machine equal to hundreds of millions of dollars. That is why only the biggest companies can afford hydrogen systems. Toyota, Hyundai, Mercedes-Benz, and Honda. However, hydrogen transport is not limited to cars. In Germany, hydrogen trains designed and built by the French company Alstom were launched on one of the routes for the first time in the world. A hydrogen train with fully refueled tanks located on the roof can travel about 621 miles at a speed of up to 87 miles per hour. Electricity generated by the fuel cells is not directly used. Instead, it is used to charge lithium-ion batteries, which, their turn, are responsible for powering the onboard systems and electric motors. Engineers also aim to reach the sky. In October 2016, the first flight tests of a four-seat HY-4 aircraft with hydrogen fuel cells took place. HY-4 is planned to serve as a basis for developing a larger hydrogen passenger aircraft, designed to carry up to 19 people. In 2019, Russia also planned to conduct first flight tests of a lightweight two-seat hydrogen aircraft based on the Sigma-4 serial Russian aircraft. This two-seat aircraft can develop speed of up to 124 miles per hour. Its flight range is about 404 miles. Despite all the difficulties of using hydrogen in transport, there are some prospects in the sphere. Cars, trains, and airplanes with hydrogen power plants have the right to life even at the current state of development of technology and the cost of systems. Indeed, evaluating the prospects of hydrogen as an energy source, we mainly rely on existing technologies for its production and use. However, almost every day something new arises in this area, and perhaps hydrogen energy will eventually experience a fundamental change.